Um, I've got Bridget up here. She's going to help me. Um, Bridget came to work for us. How many years ago? Almost five. Five years ago. Yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> and then she, when she left, she was this cute little thing. And then she came with this thing. She left and came back with this thing. I don't know where she got it from, you know. So I said, "Yeah, I like your hair. She come on back to work." Well, she wanted to come back to work. She went out and um, glad to have her back. So she's been back now for um, I don't know. A little over a month. Yeah, a little over a month. So why don't you come over here and um, Matt? Would you have uh, somebody grab some? Sugar. I don't think I brought any sugar down. Just yeah, just granulated sugar. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to do the short, the strawberry shortcake. This was originally born out of um, an old cake that we had, and I had to do something with it. And it was, it was actually we did it for my um, for my daughter, one of a function that she had, and so we 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 used up old cake, and so that's what I'm using here. It, to look like it, we actually made a yellow cake, but it's all it's all sponged out, and so we, we use it because it works better if it's broken up into pieces rather than getting a whole piece of cake in the bottom for the for the strawberries. So if you would cut me up a bunch of strawberries and throw them right in here, all right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to put it. I'm going to start over. I'm going to put it right down inside the uh, thing and, and and make a little bed right on the bottom of it. Now this is hopefully going to be the best strawberry shortcake you ever had in your life. First one we're going to do, first layer, is we're going to use a little bit of lemoncello. Okay. Okay. So we're going to use a little bit of lemoncello. Okay. Lemoncello. And then we're going to take the strawberries. That's good. This is on the menu right now. Yeah, um, yeah. We we made a lot of them because because they, they were fun. Okay, that's good. Throw that right in there. Now the best part about the strawberries is if you know you you put the sugar on the strawberries and you let it you let it soak for a little while. But to speed up the process, we're going to use a little graminier. Okay, it is a shame. And so and we'll use a little bit of sugar in there. And we're going to measure with my measuring cup here. A little bit of sugar, all right. So can you see that pretty good? All right, good. That's enough. All right. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to put that right into the uh, right into the center. I use my coffee cup here. Nope. I'm going to use my fingers. I'm going to push that down right into the cake at the bottom. Then we're going to put some more cake right on top of the uh, strawberries. <coughs> What's that? Yeah, that's coming after the blueberries. I'm going to put some blueberries in here. Okay. And then the chambord. What's that? Well, you, here's a good reason to. Okay. Then that goes in the refrigerator. And we let it set up. Here comes the test of all tests. Let's grab another one from in the back. So let's see if we can get it out of there. So that's the way that looks. Okay. It's better. <laughs> Can I say? It works. <laughs> See, all the kids line up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. And so that's it. Let's see how this one comes out. Perfect. All right. 
So there we go. That lo it looks really good. All right. So what else would we do to it? Eat it. I guess that's it. What's that? Okay. No. <laughs> Like um, the pureed strawberry that we have back there? That would look good. I have, a, I have it. You're going to have it on yours. This is what it needs. Pureed raspberry. All right. Every, everything is. There we go. And I think I've got some bacon fat that we can throw on there. <laughs> <laughs> it is. There you go. All right. Well, there's dessert. It's coming. All right. <laughs>